Welcome back to my channel viewers and subscribers. Hope everybody is doing great today. Give this video a thousand likes, click the subscribe button and that bell just so you don't miss any updates on my new videos. So people, I have some great blessing awesome news for you guys today. I'm so overjoyed and I know that the entire Jamaica and the citizens of Bath in St. Thomas is really happy right now about this. So it is now confirmed that the nine-year-old girl that went missing, her name goes by Felisa Prussia, she went missing on October 14 and it is now confirmed that she is found alive and well and she is now in the hospital. People, I am so, so happy about this because sometimes it's really rare that somebody go missing for such a long time and show up back alive in Jamaica. So I'm so happy that she's alive and well and i'm happy I, I am really appreciative of the community effort in bath in saint thomas everybody come together and they look for her and they're searching for her day and night you know during the rain everything people are still searching for her walking through the rivers and i believe that this is how communities should come together to fight against crime and violence in jamaica come together man and just you know tackle this crime and all of these violences and sexual abuse and abduction in jamaica i think that this is how communities should do things so i'm so happy and i know that the parents of felisa is overjoyed right now i saw videos where nurses are happy they're crying out they're praising the lord and they're just happy that she's okay and so forth that shows that the entire jamaica was praying for her and keeping our fingers crossed that she's alive and the fact that she is alive we're so happy about that and you know i have to put out my my utmost respect to entertainers such as Cranit law and popcorn who they're originally from saint amos they both posted on their their instagram account that she's missing popcorn even posted the alleged perpetrator who could have possibly um abducted you know felisa and so forth so my respect goes out to popcorn and Cranit law for making these posts because some entertainers are you know in their little zone they're not posting anything about it and so forth so i have to you know show my respect to popcorn and Cranit law for this and so forth so happy that felisa is hap you know safe and so forth and you know she's now in the hospital hopefully everything is okay now there's still a search on for the alleged perpetrator who goes by the name of davion you know there's still a search allegedly for him in suspect of the abduction of felisa so hopefully um the community will still continue searching for him and hopefully they will find him just to you know protect other lives and so forth and thing so really happy about the outcome of this and this should shine light to certain opportunities of the government and of us as jamaican citizens that we need to stand up for what is right and fight against crime and violence and it shows that if we come together if we come together as a nation we can truly meanwhile i know that we cannot get rid of all of it we can in a degree get rid of some of the crime and violence in jamaica right now and all of this human trafficking and sexual abuse and pedophilia i feel like if we come together as a nation we can battle those things and you know you know create a safer jamaica for the children in jamaica and so forth because the children is the future of jamaica and we need to fight to protect lives and everything in Jamaica right now. So I'm grateful of the outcome of this. And I hope that we should apply this same energy whenever another child goes missing. We should launch a big international search. Everybody from entertainer. It doesn't matter what your status or whatever your, your financial background is. If you're a shensia, if you're a popcorn, a spice, if as long as you're in Jamaica search for the for the children as well just like anybody else i think we should apply the same energy whenever a child go missing and just launch a big international search i see multiple agencies coming together the police force security companies even the prime minister make a post i think that the prime minister should post whenever a child go missing 
it doesn't matter what the child is it, it, it doesn't it shouldn't have to be that you know a post go viral on the internet before bigger agencies can make a post i think that this energy should be applied across every single missing children i i think th that that is what is supposed to happen i hope that this is an eye-opening for jamaicans and citizens of this country because you see if we were together as a nation as a society if everybody stand against crime and violence and all of this human trafficking and sexual abuse and everything then we can create a safer country for jamaica we just need to come together as a society because suppose the community and the police officers had just given up and say you know what she's probably dead already if we cannot find her suppose they had given up on felisa then she would probably starve or maybe the person who abducted her would have just taken that more advantage of her and so forth so the fact that the community continues searching nights after nights days by days with a hope of just spotting her it's really really remarkable and i think that this is what we need as a society we need to come together and stand up against injustice crime violence human trafficking sexual molesting pedophilia and all of these things we need to stand up against these things for a safer and a better jamaica i'm so happy again that felisa is found and i know that her parents are probably overjoyed right now you know what they're feeling right now <laughs> probably cannot be maybe we cannot com comprehend it because as a parent imagine your child went missing and there's a picture release with the guy ha like it looks like he has some form of knife in his hand and you know to to know that you're fine but your child safe and sound their hearts are supposed to be completely overjoyed right now and i'm happy for them i'm really 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 truly happy for them so hopefully we will be able to find out some more information about who actually abducted her and so forth and um you know we'll get some more information and clearance on that and hopefully the community of bath and st thomas and the entire jamaica will continue searching to find who this person is because as i said it is our responsibility as citizens of jamaica to ensure of the safety for children for and for everybody else for me and you and everybody else in this country we have a responsibility of making jamaica a better place for everybody so people let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section and before i go i just want to give a special big up to all the security forces and the police force as well a lot of people hate jamaican police but you do have a few good ones and you know a huge shout out to the ones who was helping to look for felisa and so forth give this video a like don't forget to click the subscribe button and that bell and until then walk good stay safe and peace out